What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is a really exciting video because we are opening a Cosmic Eclipse dollar booster box or at least that's what i call these things and you gotta hear the story on this so we drove a little bit out of town and we went into a dollar store in the middle of nowhere and this place was loaded it had sun and moon sword and shield cosmic eclipse unified minds rebel clash Yu-Gi-Oh, sports cards you name it they had it i guess the only thing that they didn't have was xy evolutions which would have been crazy the cashiers there were so surprised when we went to check out with all this stuff they're like yeah yeah, nobody buys this stuff what do you guys do with them do you play with them do you sell like they had they were clueless like the pokemon wave somehow didn't end up going to this store so we bought a ton of them obviously we still left a lot at the store but we bought all the ones that we wanted and i split everything half and half with my brother but yeah here it is a cosmic eclipse dollar booster box so i love the artwork on this stuff i mean this is like really beautiful especially for the dollar store like cosmic eclipse has been out of print for so long how is this even possible like how how can you still find this at retailers especially at dollar stores like these should be at boutique shops look at there the small but mighty trio very awesome and inside what you guys find is 60 dollar booster packs so in here is going to be 30 because like i said i split it half and half with my brother but yeah cosmic eclipse is such a great set so let me just pull some of this out here as you can see this is filled with Cosmic Clips dollar packs, the largest set that Pokemon has ever made. This is going to be really fun. Hopefully this will help build up my binder collection of this. So without further ado, let's get into this, man. I am so freaking lucky that I found this. And let me be honest with you guys, a couple months ago when I first started looking at dollar stores for Pokemon cards, I saw Cosmic Eclipse on the shelf and I passed it and that, and now retrospectively, I feel terrible about it. But at the time I had no idea what Cosmic Eclipse was, whether it was a set that I wanted to get into, I should have just bought it. If you're in between whether you should buy something or not with Pokemon, just buy it. I mean, everything is pretty much worth it and you're gonna end up regretting skipping something like I did. So here we go, we have Larvesta, Coughing, and a drill burr. So these dollar packs, if you never open them before, you get three cards and you're not guaranteed a rare. They're a little bit more risky, but I think if you can find them for a dollar, I mean, they're definitely worth it. And it's a great way to kind of build up your set. And with such a large set, I mean, can't go wrong with Cosmic Eclipse. So we have Carvana in the front. We have Rotom in the back. And for our rare, should we get one? Tepig, and this is not a rare, it is a common. Let me show you guys the card trick if you've never opened these packs before. And so here you go. You don't get a code card. This is just, I guess, an advertisement for the TCG. So it's not an actual code card. If you do one card from the back, you put it to the front. This last card is going to be your rare should you have one. It might be a reverse hollow, it might be a full art, but if it's Wait a minute. You guys saw that, right? I, I literally pulled the card from the back to the front, and this is the rare. That was really weird. Maybe, is it, is it different to this? All right, I might have been wrong. That might have been an error pack. I'm not sure. Let's try this again. We're gonna get plenty of rares if we have 30 packs. Hopefully, we get some more. Wow, that did not go as planned. So, let's see. One from the back, you put it to the front, should we have a rare? This one should be it, from my experience. Uh, we have an energy right here, a Lolan Vulpix, and a Rock Ruff. So let's keep going. Maybe that was an error pack, or maybe for Cosmic Eclipse dollar packs, it's different. This is my first time opening dollar packs of Cosmic Eclipse, so I might be wrong. Let's see, we have Probo Pass, an energy, and a Flabby B. I guess that's how you say that name. But yeah, we don't have to do the card trick because there's a lot of packs, so I'm just gonna kind of go through these pretty quick. So we have a Litleo, Nosepass, Rapidash. And I've been collecting a lot of dollar packs. Like I have a lot of stuff to open from the dollar stores. I've been having really good luck there. Lolan Sandshrew, Snorunt, and Celio. Yeah, dollar packs are the way to go for me because Target and Walmart are starting to act really funny now with Pokemon cards. I mean, Target is starting to clear their shelves with Pokemon cards, so it's becoming tough 
And plus the scalpers are all over it. People camping outside of the stores overnight. It's like, I can't even compete with that. Phantom, Igglybuff, Alolan Grimer. Phantom, Magnemite, and oh my gosh, Full Art Mimikyu. There we go. We were able to pull this out of a $1 pack. How crazy is that? Oh my gosh, that is freaking awesome. This is a secret rare as well. 245 out of 236. A little bit of a whitening on the top left corner and the top right corner. So not a PSA 10 contender, but beautiful card. I'm just stoked to have this in the collection. There we go, my gosh. I don't know what this town was thinking. How has nobody been to that store? It baffles my mind that this stuff was just sitting on a shelf in the middle of nowhere. Cosmic Eclipse, man. One of the best sets that Pokemon has ever made. I'm just now starting to build up my collection. I got into the hobby just months ago, basically December of 2020. So I haven't been in this for a while, although I really wish I got into it back in the sun and moon era at least. I really wish I'd never stopped collecting, but at the very least, I wish I got into the sun and moon era when that was like current. And I really wish I could have picked up Cosmic Eclipse back in the day for like $3.99 from like Walmart or Target. And Chem, Energy, and Professor Oak's setup. It's like when you get energies in this, it really hurts because then you're like, only two out of three chances of getting something that you need for the set because those energies are unlisted. It's not even like you need the energies for the actual set. Yeah, Cosmic Eclipse is going to be a long journey. Set is so big. Hope I get lucky enough to find more packs to be able to build up the whole set because like I'm not trying to collect everything. If I could, I would. If there's one set that I really want to collect all of it, it would definitely be Cosmic Eclipse. You want to collect the largest set in Pokemon, right? Who wouldn't? All right, here we go. And this is what I was talking about before. That rare should be in the middle. It's this one right here, he Heliolisk, right? That's the rare right there. And it was in the middle of the stack. That must have been an error pack before when we pulled the rare out of like the back of the deck. That was like really weird. It's not like that usually. All right, let's get some more full arts. This set is full of full arts, <laughs> full of full arts. Good one, man. It really is though. It's, it's loaded with some amazing artwork. Full art, secret rares, beautiful. Rufflet, energy, Tangrowth. That is crazy. I've never actually seen Tangrowth. The evolution of Tangela. It's about time that they evolved that thing. All right, we have Drillbur, Tangela, and Guzma and Hala. So let me know in the comments down below, are you guys chasing Cosmic Eclipse? Have you collected it already? Have you finished the set? Let me know what the deal is with you and Cosmic Eclipse. We have an Empoleon, Pignite, Temple. Look at that artwork right there. It's like, it's knitted. That's really cool. I like when Pokemon do that. Not a big fan of the CGI. I like basically animated stuff and then stuff like this, like photographs of like knits and different materials that Pokemon will use to create the Pokemon. It's a little bit more creative than just rendering something on a computer. Trapinch, Flabibi, and Growth. We have a Ducklet, Swirlix, and Embor. Kind of cool rolling through so many packs of one of the best sets. But yeah, the feeling of finding something in store that's like super sought after. Oh man, that, that feeling was stoked feels. <laughs> Basically what this channel is about. It was insane when we first like ran into that. And here we go, we have a rare Braviary. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And here deer, <laughs> dog Pokemon. Yeah, it was unreal. When I found it, I just straight up pulled my phone out recorded that little clip that you guys saw and then just grabbed everything and i try not to like clear out the shelves when i find stuff although you go without finding stuff for so long and then when you find your chance what are you gonna do you're not gonna act on it especially when like nobody in town's buying this stuff it was cosmic eclipse sitting on the shelf so i wasn't about to just leave anything behind plus i guess it's better to have it in hands like mine where i actually collect this stuff versus somebody who would have flipped this instantly right piplup energy and probobass Drillbur, swirlix and torkoal ah, not getting too many hits let's go Palpitoad, Cricketot, and an Energy. I'm a big fan of these tag team sets. Cosmic Eclipse, Unified Minds, Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Hidden Fates. Big, big fan. Energy, 
and a float tay. I just really like the concept of having one card and being able to see multiple Pokemon on it. Amazing idea. All right, we have Piplip, Cosmog, and Alana's Fishing Rod. Dude, look at this Pikachu. This is some pretty sweet artwork right there, man. I love seeing the Pokemon right in action. I think that is amazing. Pretty sweet card. In the back, we have a Fair Hand Energy, Rest in Peace, and a little Leap. Sandy Ghast, Shield, and Steel Energy. We got an Alolan Grimer, Marsh Shadow. Look at that. Pikachu's right there on the side. And Prin... 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 Plup. I guess that's how you say it. I never pulled this card before. It's the evolution of Piplip. Hang one with that weird name. Let's go a couple more packs. Ah, just one more full art would be amazing. Trapinch, Warleen, Togedemaru. The worst at pronouncing these names. All right, guys, we have one, we have two, and we have three packs left. Oh man, the pull rates for this has been has been pretty brutal so far. Lowland Sandshrew, we have Snorunt and Mawile. Let's go, can we pull the Blastoise and Piplip tag team cards? That would be a pretty cool card to pull. All right, we have the Little Ducky, we have Helioptile and Unidentified Fossil. Man, that is rough. Last pack here, guys. Can we get a last pack magic? Probably not. This has been a tough pack opening. All right, pack trick for this one. Let's go Mimikyu, all right. Psyduck. This pretty much says it all. That was a pretty tough pack opening, but at least we pulled this out of a dollar pack. How crazy is that? We essentially spent a dollar for this. Well, actually, let's say we spent 30 bucks for this card. I think it's still a pretty sweet card. It was definitely a tough pull rate. A lot of bulk right here, although a lot of it's going to go in my binder anyway. I need a ton of Cosmic Eclipse cards, but no reverse hollows, no regular hollows, and definitely no other full arts. But hey, this card was definitely worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you guys think about these dollar packs down below and keep your eyes open. Start thinking about places that maybe some other people in your area are not visiting. Go visit them because they might have cosmic clips. They might have unified minds or they might have evolutions. Who knows? The only way to find out is to go and check for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, rock smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. And until next time, keep chasing those stoked fields.